Hello, and welcome to this Open Helix Tip of the Week. I'm Jennifer, and I will be introducing you to CircuitDB. For more details, be sure to check the full blog post at blog.openhelix.com. Okay, so here is the CircuitsDB homepage. You can access it at this address. And on the homepage, they describe the project. You can see that it is a database of microRNA and transcription factor regulatory circuits in human and mouse. I think the best way to describe what this database does is with this image um, that they provide in their papers and on their website. So quite often um, researchers study the effect of transcription factors on protein encoding genes. They also uh, study microRNA effects on protein coding genes. What CircuitDB does is actually combine all of that information into a network. It shows how transcription factors regulate both protein coding genes as well as microRNAs and how microRNAs um, regulate the protein encoding gene. So along the side our navigation is a navigation area. Um, I talk about MIC FFL in my blog post. Transcriptional network, that's a tool where you can assay transcription factors on genes and uh, microRNAs. Post-transcriptional network, how microRNAs affect genes. What we're going to be looking at is the FFL, which looks at the whole thing. Okay, so you must select an organism. We'll select human. Um, then you can select a transcription factor and search. I'm going to um, input both a transcription factor and a pre-microRNA and um, I'm going to search. When my search is completed, this is the display you see. Again, you see that figure. And here's my list of transcription factor with um, the pre and mature microRNA as well as the gene that is affected. So you can see there are six different circuits that have been found with this combination of transcription factor and microRNA. Now what you can do is actually open up this report and you can see a report on the transcription factor, on the microRNA, on the target gene, sequence information. Some of these circuits have tissue expression heat maps as well as a circuits wiki where you can um, comment, report thing, information that you know, etc. I'm going to take a look specifically at the sequence information because I think it's unique to CircuitDB. What you see here is where the transcription factor binds to the genes promoter and it's outlined in blue. If you scroll down further, there's a diagram of where that occurs. Um, there's also transcription factor on the microRNA promoter sequence, again in blue with a diagram. And you can also see where the microRNA binds to the gene. Okay, so a um, lot of information, really great resource, especially um, if you're looking at microRNA transcription factor how they work together to regulate disease. Please again read the full blog post for more details as well as checking out CircuitsDB on your own. Thanks for stopping by.